listeners and subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Hope all is well. Hope you didn't miss me too much in the past week. If you noticed, I took some time off, took a step back, evaluate some things, take a look. Uh, you have to do that in this line of work because you know this can be sticky business. We're always in a difficult territory, so it's. I think it's prudent to take some time and uh, take, a, take a little vacation. But that doesn't mean I wasn't paying attention to what was going around in, uh, in the peripheral of stuff. I mean, it's absolutely crazy what we see happening. So get this. When I, get, when I got back from my little vacation and hopped back on YouTube... Uh, found out that one of my videos was ripped from YouTube. I mean, just straight ripped from YouTube, okay? Um, it was one of my, uh, what was it? It was my Clown World video, and it got taken down for hate speech. <laughs> hate speech, of all things. Here's the thing. If California Carter is getting strikes for hate speech, none of you out there stand a chance. <laughs> none of you out there stand a chance, because my stuff is so moderated and uh, self-censored, basically. You know, I, I hold back a lot. And I very rarely am I ever attacking one particular group except for those inside of the New World Order elites, really. And, uh, I mean, if you go back and listen through a lot of my videos, even some of the more controversial ones, I, I'm not, this, it's not hate speech, I'm not attacking anyone. So I was pretty surprised. They didn't send me an email, a notification, nothing. I just hopped on my YouTube app and bam, they told me that I had a video taken down. So that was absolutely, that's crazy. So they're coming for us all. I got a, a strike on my channel. So that's very interesting. Anyway, uh, seeing the political atmosphere that we're in now, I have at least 10 videos maybe talking about civil unrest, civil war, civil conflict, escalations and tensions among the people, division between the left and the right, black and white, uh, straight and gays religious, non-religious, all these different elements where people are at each other's throats. Uh, and what we saw recently, I would say, is the latest escalation in these tensions. Okay, we, we see the heart, the crux of what's really happening here. And it doesn't matter really what you think or what you feel. Everybody can hold on to their own sort of arguments and come up with their own rationalizations. But we're not seeing anything less than the perpetuation of the New World Order agenda through political mediums. Okay, they use these political divides, okay, these diatribes, to leverage that against the people. So they, they take advantage of what is otherwise perceived as an initiative to be backed by either one side or the other, the left or the right, they take that and then they warp the intentions of that momentum to serve the political elite, okay, the parasites. That's what happens. They get us to endorse measures to our detriment and it's either to stick it in, you know, to poke in the eye of the other side uh, and at, at the cost of your own side and America just to, you know, stick it to the other side. Uh, that is... One thing that we're really starting to see, other than the escalations and tensions against one side versus the other, which has always been there, there's now this divide between, you know, the right and the right and the left and the left. There's also the campaigns out there to usurp the momentum, the positive momentum behind the change we like to see, to take that change and manifest it again for these political parasites. That's that's what we see unfolding here, and people are falling for it, okay? Because what, what, we, what we've got with the left is this foamy mouthed rabid animal attacking anything it sees as opposition but what we see on the right is virtually the same it's just going in the other direction it's it's this defense of a individual right we're talking about the, the cult of personality we're talking about the defense of an individual who is obviously wearing the new world order cologne there's no question about it that this guy is a new world order shield we're talking about trump no question about it and this goes beyond the liberal and conservative arguments that's the problem is once you criticize trump uh the right is on you and say hey man trust the plan this is 5d chess bro you just don't understand you know and the moment you praise him and say hey he, he didn't do too bad there then you've got the left who are like what are you talking about he's the worst thing since Hitler, come on. You know, and, and that's where we find ourselves is when we have a conversation, a discussion, people overlay uh, their their political optics, their religious optics, whatever it is, so they, they can't see anything outside of their small, limited context of what they understand. So if you say anything, a political buzzword, a religious buzzword, what have you, you either gain or lose credibility with a certain group out of hand. Because that's what they adhere to, and I don't. I don't. That's not. That's not a good place to be for people. Um, 
I know people don't like to admit it, that's not a good place to be where you have to run to the defense of some person, even though they're obviously doing things to the detriment of the country, or when you're having to uh, ad hominly attack somebody simply because uh, that is what your, your party is currently doing. So you have to do one or the other, and there's less and less uh, any chance of finding middle ground. That's where we're finding ourselves with uh, virtually all of these topics. People can't seem to see beyond their holes. I've talked about it before. These people have got to come out of their holes. Uh, because what we're really seeing is people will not accept any information. They haphazardly reject almost any information that conflicts with their rigid set of beliefs. That's what we're finding. And that's a very dangerous uh, place to be in because now you can't even talk to people about the very policy these power pyramid players are trying to manipulate us into voting for. You know, we just don't see it. And people won't admit that they're trying to drive a wedge between both parties intentionally. Uh, you, you, any thinking person, I think, can recognize that. If you don't recognize that, there's not much going on in those political noggins anyway, right? Because now, more and more, increasingly, it's these political folks, these political paradigmers who are triggered or, you know, melt like snowflakes in the heat of anything that conflicts with, again, their rigid set of beliefs. We've got to wise up, man. We've got to wise up. California Carter, signing off.